How long would I have to be on this medication, though? You know, that's um, you know that's a great question. So, patients stay on buprenorphine. Um, I mean, the, the I'm, I'm not trying to be cute in answering you. I, I want people to stay on buprenorphine until their lives get better. And um, in some ways, that's like a very individual thing. And I think that for most people, um, improvement from drug addiction is not just eliminating the drug from your life, but then also kind of cleaning up the rest of the stuff that's been going on. So, you know, we haven't talked about it, but like um, I'm assuming your work situation or your interpersonal relationships, if you're actively, if you're actively addicted to opioids, you probably haven't been attending to other aspects of your life to the degree that would be optimal. And so um, when, even when the, 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 the kind of drug ingestion part of the drug addiction is um, stabilized, uh, there's a lot of other stuff to attend to usually. And I think that takes you know, different timelines for different people. What we know is that the longer people stay on it, the, the better they seem to do. And, um, you know, like if I had to just give you a round number, I would say plan on being on it for a year, okay? Is it, um, do you have to stay on it a year? You don't have to stay on it a year, it's up to you. It's, you know, I, I, nobody's gonna force you to stay on it. But um, I'm not, uh, I, I, I don't wanna um, raise your expectations, like you just be on it for a couple of weeks and then get off of it and be fine. You know, the, what we know is, is that using buprenorphine for quote like detox, just to kind of treat withdrawal, people relapse almost immediately, like 95% of people. So it's, you know, there, there was a study done uh, a few years ago that kind of looked at like short term, like just detox treatment versus maintenance treatment at six months. And, you know, you know half the people were just tapered quickly and the other half were given a maintenance approach. And it, about half the people were still on buprenorphine and abstinent from other opiates at six months. But the, the detox group, 95% of the people relapsed pretty quickly. So. I think the, the, the issue with opioids is that the addiction is, the physical component of the addiction is so strong that it's very hard to have craving or be in some withdrawal um, and resist ingesting opiates. And I don't know, what, what's been your experience when you've tried to not use? I get sick. It's okay. unbearable. But my concern with this medication is I guess I can't just stop it, right? I, like, I don't want to be sick from something else now if I don't take it every day. Right. So that's, I mean, that, that's, um, that's a, a, a great point. And I think um, buprenorphine is an opioid, and people taking buprenorphine, bu buprenorphine are physically dependent on opioids. And if you abruptly discontinue buprenorphine, you will probably have withdrawal symptoms. Um, people on therapeutic doses of buprenorphine who stop taking it will get sick. So there, there is that um, complication of using the medicine. And um, they tend not to get sick right away. Like sometimes people can go like 48 hours without taking it before they start to have withdrawal symptoms. But it's withdrawal. And I, I, if you talk to friends of yours or you know, people that you know who um, have been on it. Um, it's a real withdrawal syndrome like other opioids. Uh, what I would say about that is um, that can be managed at some point in the future. I've taken lots of people off of buprenorphine. Um, when they're coming off, what I tell them, it's like having the flu. And so you have to replan to not be doing anything else. And I have them like clear their schedule and plan, it's like being homesick and drink some, you have some Gatorade there, and there are other medications that can be used to take the edge off the withdrawal. It doesn't eliminate it entirely, um, and try to just help you feel comfortable and sick, but it's time limited. Like after a few days, the worst of it's over, and then, uh, but it's not nothing, and that's a, that's a, that's a relative um, uh, complication of being on it. And some people just don't like being on something that's an opioid, and, and I, I mean, I would argue that this is an extremely effective treatment, and that, the fact that the drug has opioid effects, I wouldn't f focus that much on it, but you know, some people have you know, opinions about that.